Hi. Now, money is something everybody wants more of, right? Everybody is feeling the pinch on their wallets nowadays because of rising inflation. And having a second income is something which is becoming a necessity for most people. Now, cyber security is one of the most in-demand professions today. But like everybody else, cyber security pros also need some more money. And along with your regular nine to five job, there are other ways in which you can monetize your cyber security knowledge and create some passive income. And that's what I want to talk about today, guys. I want to talk about passive income via Udemy and how to monetize your cyber security knowledge. I want to give you some solid advice and for one of the easiest ways to make some passive income and that is by Udemy. Udemy is one of the best marketplaces in the world to make and sell digital courses. Okay. And I want to show you how to do that and how you can take your knowledge and make some money off it. Before we move ahead, welcome to my channel, guys. Uh, my name is Tamur. This is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where I talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, artificial intelligence, and general cyber security advice. Please do like and subscribe to this channel, and that will really help the channel to grow. So passive income is what? Is basically money that requires you to do the effort once, and then you can keep on reaping the benefits over a long period of time. This is different from your nine to five job, right? That's active income. That way, that is where you're actively exchanging your time for money. So passive income is amazing because it helps you to escape the paycheck to paycheck lifestyle, right? And you can create more sources of income. Okay. So, and one of the best ways is digital courses. The global e-learning market right now is worth like 215 billion in 2021 and is estimated to reach around 645 billion for 2030. And on Udemy itself, there are 52 million users as on 2022 and are you telling me that some of them can, can't won't buy your course that's simply not possible right a lot of people you know they don't want to go on udemy because of certain excuses and what are this I've, I've heard a lot of them first of those i'm not a teacher okay yeah no worries but uh, that does not stop you from making a course right there is absolutely no reason you cannot take some of your cyber security knowledge and start spreading it by making a simple course okay on udemy you just need a 30 minute course and five lessons that comes down to like six minutes per lesson. Are you seriously telling me you cannot write talk for six minutes on a cyber security topic? The other excuses, I don't have equipment. Uh, okay, so let's take my example. I have launched over five Udemy courses using nothing but my laptop and the free version of Canva. And so far I have over 10,000 students and I have one of the highest rated courses. So no excuse, this is not excuse. And lastly is too much competition. I've been hearing this for the past three years that Udemy is dead, Udemy is saturated. People are making thousands and thousands of dollars every month, okay? They are, it is true that there are literally millions of courses in cyber security and your course might get lost, but you can avoid that by being smart on what topic you choose. And I'm going to show you to choose how to choose cyber security topics that have a high demand and low competition. And that's one of the bonuses in this video, okay? I'm gonna actually give you two to three topics that are in demand right now. And you can quickly use that to create a 30 minute course and actually earn some money. So awesome. Let's start guys and let's see how we can earn some money on Udemy by making an awesome course. Okay, uh, now you can see guys, we are in the Udemy portal. I mean, I'm assuming that you have already a Udemy account. If you don't, then please don't uh, like uh, listen to this video and go and create it. You have to go to this option here, which is teach on Udemy. Now just click here and become an instructor. Let's get started. It's just gonna ask you some basic questions. You can pretty much like just add whatever you want to add and just to skip this part and boom that's it now you have what do you call now you have a portal here on which you can create your courses which which will uh, and start creating them so what do we do here before you even start creating your courses guys one thing very important which i want you to do is understand some of the tools which uh, udemy gives you and there are some really cool tools and the most important is this one which is the marketplace insights this tells you what sort of courses are in demand. So don't do not go into your blindly into your courses. Like I said, people said that Udemy has too much competition. That is true. That, but that is because they don't do their research first. Okay. So don't just jump into a topic without knowing what sort of demand is there. So we're going to use this tool, guys. So as you can see here, what's it saying, right? It's going to tell you what sort of demand is there, what are the number of courses, and what are the revenues. Let's skip this and get started. So here, now let's think of a few topics, right? You want to create a cyber security course. Let me look for cyber security here. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's not good. You can see the student demand is high and the number of courses is also high. And it's saying that you need to get a really high ratings. It's going to be very challenging, guys, uh, to look for courses here. 
Okay, so let's think about another topic. What about my specialty, which is cloud security? Let's create cloud security, right? Okay, awesome. Let's see. Uh, no, oops. You can see here high demand and the number of courses also high. It's saying bringing your A game. You really need to make some amazing things and have amazing like customer base already present to really succeed here. Uh, what else can we do? Maybe like CSSP, like the certifications, right? Let's take a, maybe you can make a course on that. Uh, not, not again, you can see. The student demand is quite high and the number of courses is also quite high. So this is like what I was talking to you about. Now you need to do some research, right? Okay, so like I said, I promised you, I'll show you some topics which are which you can actually use. So what about AWS security? Like, Okay, awesome. You can see this. This topic is a great opportunity. The student demand is high and the number of courses are low. Okay, and you can see people are actually searching for this. And there are courses present, but you, you can create a good course and you have a very high chance of uh, getting your course out there and people will actually find it because they are searching for this course and the number of courses are not here. So note this down, AWS security services. Well, what else is there? What about DevSecOps? That DevSecOps is a cool topic. Awesome, so we found another topic. You can see here, the student demand is high and the number of courses is also low. And wow, look at the monthly, the, the, even the some of the average, it's, you, people are earning around $300, right? Okay, what else? What else can we think of? What about NIST? NIST is something a popular topic. The NIST cybersecurity framework. Awesome. You can see, see, just like, like within two minutes, I was able to find you three topics. I promised you right in the bonus that I would get you three topics. Now you have AWS security, you have DeskOps, and you have NIST. You can actually go right now and start creating some courses on that, and that that will actually help you out, right? So th this is why it's so important, guys, to do your research. Now you have three topics on which you can actually go and start creating courses. Now we can go here and just click on this. Uh, we're gonna create a course, go ahead. And like we said, we're gonna create AWS security services or maybe DevSecOps, I like DevSecOps, right? That was the second topic, right? DevSecOps for beginners, okay? Yeah, the category is IT and software. What sort of best fits the knowledge that you share? Uh, this is just generic question. We don't need to worry about them. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is your basically your screen where you can start putting. This is all basic stuff. I don't. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But what I do want you to do, guys, before you start creating here, do something which is a lot of people sometimes miss that, which is to mind map or to create a rough outline of your course. Right? Remember, UDB needs minimum uh, five lessons and thirty minutes. So that comes down to six minutes per lesson. So you need to map it out, right? So let's take a look at this. I'm going to create a mind map. Okay, guys, so this is what I was talking about. I use a website called Miro. It, it's just a free website that allows you to create mind maps, okay? So we we're talking about DevSecOps. So you can use anything. You can even use Microsoft Excel. I mean, honestly, there's nothing stopping you. But I'm talking about, so what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about like introduction to Dev DevSecOps. Let's say in, intro to DevSecOps, right? We need five lessons, right? And then what? DevSecOps, history, how, why DevOps is needed, right? DevSecOps is needed right what else uh once you made this like uh the stages of uh maybe the stages of devsecops okay you can do that. and then you can maybe have like a live uh, what do you call a lab uh devsecops in action and lastly you can put wrap up and test okay five lessons each of six minutes that's it but now at least with, by making this you know the rough outline or the structure of your course. Always do this because sometimes people jump directly and they either they create too many lessons or too few lessons. Remember, you need five lessons, six minutes, okay? Now let's go back, okay? So that's what I was talking about. Now you have a mind map. Now you can start creating your content. Your content, you can go here. So it's very easy to do. You just need to record your sessions and do a bulk upload. What sort of tools do you need? It's very simple. You can just use Zoom and you can use like a PowerPoint or you can even use Canva. I've used Canva. It's an excellent tool. And how do you create, like, you record yourself on Canva? It's very easy. You go here and, like, create a free account on Canva. You don't need to pay. And click on presentation, right? You can see the screen. Now you can start, like, I don't know. You can you have all these templates which are here, even some of them are free, right? And you can see this present button here. You can go here and you can say present and record. So when you go there, you can see you can actually create your face. Your face will show up here and you can start talking. 
So that's very easy to do. Just create five lessons like this, download it, and then you can you can edit it. Do editors because a lot of times you will have gaps and you will have those things. We have free editing software on Windows. MacBook has iMovie, completely free. You can just use that to edit it. Once you have that created, you can just start, go here, start creating your lessons, your sections, right? Your lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, all those you can create here and start uploading them and create it. So it's very easy to do guys. Uh, like like we said, intro to DevSecOps, right? That is what we we're talking about. And you can add one more session. You can start adding your lessons here, lecture, and just start adding it uh, in, in Pro, sorry, in Pro. Add it here. And then you can actually decide what sort of content is there, video. This is where you can start uploading your videos here. Edit it and upload it here. And then you can start, uh, once you have uploaded it, this is your cover page. You have to put your details here. Just find out similar courses and don't copy them, but try to understand how they've used it and start creating similar data here. I would definitely advise creating a course image because it's like a thumbnail, right? It's like an advertisement for your course. So you can see here, can it has some requirements, you give me 750 by 422 pixels, right? And JPEG, it's very easy to do. So 750 by 422, just go to Canva again, I'll show you, create a design, go here, custom page, 750 by, uh, 422, create a new design. And that's it. You have all these like, uh, you can go to elements and you can search for learning, right? Learning. And yeah, you can look, all these things are here. You can create some nice images here. And so it's very easy to do. Once you have that, just go, go here and download it. And then you can actually use it as your cover page for your uh, new course, upload it. And once you have that, you can submit it for review. Uh, before you do that, I would recommend actually using one of your lessons, going back to the tools here and sending one of your test videos to Udemy experts. They will actually review your audio video and let you know what is the quality. It's a very cool thing to do and you can actually use that. And once you've done it, once you've submitted it within a few days, the, your course will probably get approved and congratulations. You have a live course there on Udemy. That's not the end, by the way. Guys, one thing I would definitely recommend, you need to get reviews right away from the start. A lot of people, they just put their courses there and they think they don't have to do anything. So what you do is you go to back to your course. There's a uh, option here called promotions. You can create your coupons here. Okay, you create coupons, start creating coupons here. And uh, sorry, sorry, I accidentally click that. Sorry, go back here. Once you've set the pricing and everything, you can go here and start creating coupons. I haven't put the price there. And what you do is you share your coupons to your friends. Okay, it will give them the course for free. So let me just set the pricing here. Just we can set any price. It doesn't matter right now. Okay. Oh, sorry. I haven't filled out the what do you call the application here. That's why it's not letting me. That's not an issue. Anyways, uh, just go to the promotions here. It will give you an option to create like coupons for free courses, and you can send them across to your friends, share them across, and ask them to give you reviews. With once you put in, uh, you need a few reviews. Once you have that, that Udemy algorithm will pick up your course and start promoting it. Without ratings, without algo, without uh, reviews, your course will get left behind no matter how good it is. So please do focus on that. There are Facebook groups you can share it across. I would recommend sharing it to your friends instead of Facebook groups or some other email lists because people usually what they do is they just snatch up that coupon and they don't take the course and they don't like use it for anything. So please don't do that. Use it actively. And uh, congratulations, you will have your course up and running. And within a few weeks or so, you can actually see actual people buying it and using it. So congratulations for that, guys. Uh, once you have this course, let me know. Ping me on LinkedIn, ping me on the YouTube channel and share a coupon. I'm happy to review your course and actually give you some feedback and leave you a nice little rating and review also. Okay, let's go back to the video. Okay, guys, I hope that was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. That will really have the channel to grow. Let me know in the comment section if there was something I could have added and I could have talked more about. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.